Hi, Chris Lobolsi, and welcome to my coffee break. Each week, I'll provide you with a thought-provoking concept that will help you flourish and grow both professionally and personally. Now, today, I want to explore the topic of legacy. Now, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and change the alert notifications so you don't miss any of these episodes during the coffee break. If this was the only video that people would ever see of me, the message I would want to share with you is about legacy. So what is legacy? If you're, if you're not asking yourself this question, you are already failing. What do you want to do, right? Or what do you want to be remembered as? For me, I ask this question a lot. It's part of my self-reflection time. I focus a lot on making sure that my purpose and my legacy are always aligned. Now, I want to be remembered as the person that did what he said he was going to do. A great family man, loving, loyal, kind and caring. A person who changed the world one person at a time and always practiced what he preached. It all starts by taking action on everything. Now, what pisses me off is I see a lot of yes people who do nothing. Stop telling everyone um, how you're going to do it and start doing what you say you are going to do. It's pretty simple, really. Now, I don't need things, I don't want things, and um, you know, I'm blessed that I have everything I have. You see, you don't really need much in life. It's just all bullshit. In fact, most of the things that you think you need are simply expectations that you have put on yourself and others have put into your mind. Now, marketers are very good at doing this. So because I don't need things and rather I want things, I try and do shit so I can get more of what I want. I don't understand or stand around waiting for those things to just happen. I do everything I can to mobilize and move fast forwards. On the top of the list of wants in my is my family's happiness and health. I do everything possible to ensure that they have everything they need and I'm not referring to material shit. I'm, take, I'm talking about love, laughter, kindness, which means my time. Now, time is a commodity we cannot replace and the most common important commodity we have, we must be frugal with it so we can maximize our ability to achieve. Sometimes people say to me, it's okay for you, you have money. You can get what you want, fool. I was homeless in 2009, I failed enough times to know the pain of failure. I keep trying because it's not about winning or losing, it's about how fast you get up and how fast you can learn from each failure. The more you lose, the more you learn, the more you learn, the more you gain, and ultimately, the more you will succeed. Now, I learned quickly to always move forward. Don't be scared of losing, everybody loses if they try hard enough. The more you try, the more likely you are to fail. And failure is okay, as long as you are learning from it and move closer to what you want. Michael Jordan, arguably one of the all-time greatest, best basketball players in history, said, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games, 26 times. I have been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life. I've been criticized my entire life from early childhood through to now. My full metal jacket has been evolving for more than 40 years and I am proud of the man that I am and I'm proud of the people that have shared my journey. Without all of those people on my journey, I would not have what I have and it's those expectations, both the highs and the lows of my life, that provide us with wisdom, knowledge and resilience. So remember that the people that criticize you have no idea who you are and what you stand for. And envy and jealousy is often their curse. Don't make it yours. It's critical that you realize that life is a journey and not a destination and having purpose is critical to that journey. Each destination is a new experience on that journey. Now the power is firmly in your hands no matter who you are and what you do, you have the power to create meaningful change in your life and that of others. So start taking action and stop procrastinating because of fear of failure. There is no fear in failure, there is only failure in fear. If you are unsure of your purpose and you are not alone, in fact, the research shows that less than 20%, 20% of people know their person, but yet only 5% follow through. And after 10 years of uncovering my purpose, I decided it was time to help others find theirs. 
Now, over the last two years, I have built a program called LWP, that is Live With Purpose. It asks the tough questions and makes us think deeply. And in 2024, 2024, we'll make it available to outside of our private community. And if you're keen, drop the comment LWP, and when we're ready, we will get back to you. Now, if you like this episode, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It lets others know that the content I'm sharing is making a difference to you and it might make a difference to them. I want to thank you for hanging out with me during my coffee break and I look forward to sharing a coffee with you next week. Until then, live with purpose.